AB Courtyard Patio Package Espresso. This patio package will fit on a 12 by 19 patio. These basic instructions can be modified to fit a different patio size. This layout will use the following blocks. The blocks are modular in size with two AB York blocks equaling one AB Dublin block. The blocks come with built-in angles, so during construction when an AB York, AB Dublin, or a wall cap meets up to a flat surface, some cutting will be required to give a finished look to the project. During construction, the AB Dublin blocks may be angled the wrong way, leaving a gap. Simply slide the block over and add in an AB York block. For more details on proper construction, see the AB Courtyard Reference Guide. Start by measuring and marking the location for the position of the first post block. Install four corner blocks with their long sides facing out. Check for level and use shims if necessary. Install the next course of corner blocks so that they overlap from the blocks below. The second pattern will offset the vertical seams. The next post block in this layout cannot be installed prior to this wall panel section being completed to ensure proper placement. To start the wall panel, we will need to use a cut block. This creates a straight side to the block to place against the corner block, giving us a clean, flush look when meeting up with the flat surface. For this project, we will be cutting an AB Dublin block in half, as well as one in a 3 quarter and 1 quarter size. These cut pieces will then be used on every course where the blocks of the wall panels meet up with the flat surface of the post. When building the wall panels, installing two courses at the same time will help with block alignment. For this first course, use the pre-marked blocks and cut down the center of the raised ring to create the 3 quarter and 1 quarter size. Use a saw with a diamond blade and adhere to safety standards. Install the cut block against the center of the post to start the patio wall. Continue installing AB York and AB Dublin blocks to start the curve. Place the AB York blocks with the long side of the block facing the outside of the curve to build the curved wall section. If the block starting the curve is not angled properly, the direction of the curve will be wrong. To correct this, the initial cut block to start the section will need to be changed. Start by removing the last block that has the wrong angle and set aside at the beginning of the section. Then slide all the blocks down one block from the start of the section. Remove the initial cut block and then place in the AB York block that was previously set aside. Now reinstall the initial cut block by turning the block over so the raised rings are facing down and the cut side is against the post. A second option would be to replace the initial cut block with the opposite angle cut block. And finally, a third option would be to replace the quarter size cut piece and an AB York block with a three quarter size cut piece that is angled correctly. Once the angle is corrected, install AB York blocks to build the curve. At the end of the curve, place an AB York block with the long side facing in to create the start of the straight section. Continue building with AB York and AB Dublin blocks to the end of the wall section. Place a three quarter size cut AB Dublin with the cut side facing out. Place four corner blocks with their long sides facing out to build the next post. Place the corner blocks so that the wall panel will be centered on the finished post. Install the next course of corner blocks so that they overlap the blocks below. To start the second course, cut another AB Dublin block, this time in half. This will ensure the blocks line up properly and the seams are offset from the course below. Place the cut side against the corner block to create the finished look against the post. Stack AB York and AB Dublin blocks until the curve, then install all AB York blocks with their long sides facing to the outside of the curve. Again, if the angle is not correct, make the adjustment in the wall section just built to change the starting angle. At the end of the curve on the second course, an AB Dublin cut in half may be needed to help adjust the angle of the blocks back so a straight wall can continue. Place and adjust as needed to fit. Then continue stacking AB York and AB Dublin blocks to the end of the wall section. 
finish this section with another half size cut block with the cut side against the post. Install three additional courses of the posts, alternating the pattern on each course to offset from the course below. Stack up a third course of wall panels using cut blocks to meet up with the posts. Finish the project with post caps and wall caps. You can choose to secure them in place with masonry adhesive. Start by locating the placement of the grill by measuring or placing the grill in the center of the patio to determine the proper width needed for the grill surround. Place two corner blocks to mark where the inside of the posts will be on either side of the grill. Starting on one side, install three more corner blocks for the first course of the post. Corner blocks have a long side and a short side. Place the long side facing out. Check for level and use shims if necessary. For the first course, use the pre-marked blocks and cut down the center of the block to create two one-half size blocks. Use a saw with a diamond blade and adhere to safety standards. Using one of the half size cut blocks, remove the raised ring with a hammer and chisel. Then place the block with the cut side facing out to finish the post layout. Using AB York and AB Dublin blocks, install the back panel. Finish with a corner block. Using the corner block on the back panel as a guide, install three more corner blocks to build the second post, just reversed from the first post. The initial corner block may need to be adjusted to match where the post needs to be built. Finish the second post with another half size cut AB Dublin block with the raised ring removed. Now install the second course of the posts. This pattern will use four corner blocks that are installed so that they overlap the blocks below offsetting the vertical seams. To start and finish the second course of the back wall panel, we will need to use cut blocks. These cut blocks will then be used on every course of the wall panels when meeting up with the side of the corner block. For this course, use the pre-marked blocks and cut down the center of the raised ring to create the three-quarter and one-quarter size. Install the two cut blocks on either side of the wall panel with the cut side against the corner blocks. Install AB York and AB Dublin blocks between to complete the second course. Install additional courses. Follow the same patterns as previously done on the first and second courses. To allow for the placement of additional courses, a few blocks will need to be flipped upside down in place of removing the raised rings, as was done on the first course. On the top course, install five AB corner blocks on the post with the long sides facing out. Install wall caps on the back wall. You can choose to secure them in place with masonry adhesive. Roll in the grill. Then install countertops on the two post locations. For complete library of courtyard how-to sheets, visit us at allenblock.com and share your projects with us on social media. We'd love to see them.